<laughs> oh, oh man, I'm so stupid. Hey, review family, keep it, I keep it tight. My name is Jay Morris, a review guy, and I'm back again to bring you another video. And in this one, I'm going to be covering the new Gaul's Word album entitled Gastier Ghosts Invited. So this is the debut studio length album on Season of Mist by the Norwegian black metal band Gaul's Word, obviously frontmaned by Gaul. A proponent of true black metal, Norwegian black metal, a pagan in his own right, and formulator of some of the most well-known black metal bands of all time, both in the underground and specifically with his band Gorgoroth, one of the best known black metal bands, period. I think that can be said. Wardruna, Treldom, Gallskag, as well as Godseed. He's been a part of all of these bands. Known for the fact that he is a polarizing figure and his controversial beliefs, Gaul has been a part of some of the most raw and blunt black metal bands of all time. While I don't really agree with a lot of his beliefs, it is impossible to have a discussion about black metal or respecting black metal or researching black metal without running into one of the major host of bands that he has been involved with, and his talent levels are through the roof. And then you also have the fact that he is one of the first openly gay black metal members of all time, and considering he comes from the Norwegian black metal scene, which is very purist, very old school. This was a massive leap, and they kind of welcomed him with open arms. Through the documentaries he's been a part of, to his beliefs, to the fact that he does like clothing as well, or at least did at one point, it's always so fascinating to follow Gaul in whatever his projects are. And here we have Gaul's word. This is a follow up to Bergen Nov, which was released back in November of 2017. It was an EP, but this is their major debut studio length album on Season of Mist, and it is one of the most hellish and one of the most straightforward black metal albums I've heard in a while, and definitely one of the best. Yeah, I'm really enjoying this record. If you like the classic black metal sound, you definitely should check this out, but there's enough spice, enough refreshing ideas thrown into the mix to make this a little bit unorthodox, a little bit rigid, a little bit off the beaten path, but it still has that black metal feel, that true Norwegian black metal feel that Gaul has always been known for in his projects. And these spices he throws into this major cauldron concoction of atmospheric black metal with clean vocals introduced and whispered vocals introduced and rumbling vocals mixed in and then the normal black metal shrieks all wrapped in this really dense like production with just brittle, just dissonant drums and twisted, sour, labyrinth style guitars that switch up and go into these different tempos that just make them sound so hellish. I'm impressed that through some of these long song links and a fairly long album, 42 minutes, there was not a point that I just felt that there was a lull, that there was a dud. Each track has its own flavor, its own motif, its own agenda, and each one feels a little bit tweaked and a little bit different than the last where it doesn't just blend in, because I do feel like a lot of modern black metal projects and modern black metal frontmen that have fronted a lot of black metal bands such as Gaul can sometimes run their tracks, run their wheels through the mud and tread into mud and just not come up with interesting ideas to pad out all of the albums that they create but Gaul has always tried to make each project different than the last and I respect that so much on Gaul's word from the very ominous guitars that open up the first track Ek Irilar and then to From the Spear which is just this heavy metal black metal hybrid in which he's just screaming his, gut, his guts out over these almost kind of thrash metal or old school heavy metal riffs that come out of these guitars. On these first two tracks, the vibe and the mood is set right away, and it's a fog, it's absolutely misty as all hell, and it just crushes me. He sounds like a goblin on the first track, like a literal goblin, and the guitars that end out the track just make it seem like I'm trudging through a cave where I cannot see the light at the end of the tunnel. And honestly, it's the same with From the Spear. Yes, those are some thunderous riffs, those are some just epic sized riffs coming from the guitars and the drums are played thunderously as well but it all just has this such chaotic feel to it such this massive triumphant 
didn't feel to it, but this hopeless feeling as well. It's just controlled chaos. It's controlled madness, but it still has all the essentials of black metal. I'm not saying it's blowing me away on that front. It's intrinsic in that manner, but the band never lulls. They don't slow down. They're always changing tempo. They're always playing faster. They're always upping the ante, and Gaul is always coming through with these interesting vocal techniques that just kind of blow me away every time he introduces a new way to make these tracks sound so monstrous and visceral and creepy and eerie and bone chilling and bone shredding. I mean, on this self-titled track, it leaves him sounding like a gothic metal vocalist in the way he just has this epic, like, Norwegian feel to him, this echo just powerful, just yeah. This way of coming across just sounding so commanding, yet so menacing and overwhelming, but so fitting with this twisted instrumentation that just keeps winding and changing and blasting me just so much. But it's easy enough to dissect and say this part's good, that part's good, this riff is really nice, this drum fill seems really nice, this vocal structure sounds really nice, but it all just comes together to sound like an amalgamation that leaves you just scratching your head when you finish it like, holy crap. And carving the voices is 7 minutes and 26 seconds, and that refrain of carving the voices is just, the way it's mixed once again has that overwhelming claustrophobic feel to it that just sounds so chilling to the ears. It sounds like some magical incantation that's going to call forth the demons and angels to lock into battle eternally. And alongside these epic sounding vocals, the instrumentation gives this an epic black metal feel to it. This album doesn't slow down, it doesn't get boring, it doesn't get uninteresting or unintriguing at any time. Are there some ideas here or there scattered that feel a little bit black metal 101 or are reminiscent of some of Gaul's past work? Of course, but for a veteran of the genre, take notes other bands and other artists in this specific genre that have been around a while because Gaul is doing a lot right with this record. It's super focused. It's super overwhelming. It stays as long as it needs to. The tracks are as short and as long as they absolutely need to be. It's chock full of fun ideas and just insane playing, fun playing. It's a blast of a black metal record and Gaul is super talented as usual on this record, employing a variety of vocal techniques that leave him sounding like a demented cave goblin that's going to bash your head in with a skull. It goes balls to the wall. I was insanely intrigued throughout the entire release. It was extremely visceral. It was just massive from start to finish and you all should try this out. I highly suggest it. If you enjoy classic black metal or new black metal or if you've enjoyed Gaul's past work, check this out because it's different enough to where it's going to be interesting but close enough to that original veneer that it's going to leave you feeling in a place of familiarity but not necessarily a bad way. I'm going to be giving this album an 8.5 out of 10 and that is a wrap. Please stay for the end screen all links and videos you might be interested in. Have you heard this new Gaul's Word album? If you have, let me know in the comment section below. I'd love to discuss this record with you. Like this video if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new around here. I review on the daily pretty much. Smash that notification bell to be notified of my future uploads. And I'll talk to you next time. My name is Jay Morse, Review Guy, and I'm signing off saying farewell.